Oh, that's stuff. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, and we are ready to go. Chef Joe's giving us a uh, preview of what's coming up, and let me tell you, delicious stuff. Habersham Tavern Citrus uh, Ale Glazed Cornish Hen is what we're putting together, but that's not it. He's got other stuff that looks equally as delicious. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Um, talk to us about Cornish Hen. A lot of folks may not have ever made this at home or cooked this at home or even know even how to prepare something like this. So Cornish Hen is real simple. It's... Uh it's a chicken. Mm -hmm. It's just smaller. The meat is more tender, more juicy. Okay. So a lot of people usually prepare it as like a rotisserie style, but today we're going to be stuffing it and baking it. All right. So um, go over the ingredients and let us know what we need to, to put this together. Well, not a lot of ingredients. Uh, obviously, salt and pepper, your best friend sure. in the kitchen. Some chicken stock, uh, some wild rice, the hen itself. You can serve it by itself or with anything you like. Today we're going to be doing grilled vegetables. And then we've got our fresh catch Narragansett beer. It's a blonde ale that's uh, it's dry hopped with citra, All right. so it gives it a lot of grapefruit tones. Okay. So we're gonna actually play on that, and we're gonna zest and juice our oranges right here, and then reduce it down to make a glaze. So this is the glaze that's gonna go on the, the hen itself, yes. right? Is it, how long do you have to cook something? Is it like cooking a chicken? I mean, do you? Yeah, it's it's just like way? it's just like cooking a chicken. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna par bake it before we stuff it because it does take a while. So we'll power bake it for about 15 minutes, then stuff it, and it'll probably take an additional 20 to 25 minutes after that. Always with, uh, with poultry, you want to cook it to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. To make sure that it's, it's, it's good. It's got to be safe. Right, right. Um, not only that, you've got some delicious steak tips over here, some uh, chicken quesadillas that you've put together. So you've got a wide variety of things that we're, uh, we have. Yeah, I mean, as you can see by the size of our menu, we've got something that can cater to Something anybody. For everybody. Going to make a lot of people happy today. We'll put this together. We'll give it a try. Talk about the other stuff that he's brought and the restaurant itself. Back to you. Welcome back to the Road Show, everybody. On this Thursday morning, Chef Joe Dancero is here from the Haversham Tavern. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Nice to have you here, buddy. Thanks for having Always me. Always a pleasure to welcome you to our kitchen to dazzle us and delight us with the, with whatever it is you do. He's like a magician, guys. And today he's making citrus ale glazed Cornish hen. You've been hard at work in here. What have you been doing, bud? Uh, so I've got the glaze reduced down, sweetened up. It's tasting good. I just pulled the chicken out from the first roasting, so I've just started stuffing it. So we're going to finish stuffing it with the wild rice. Now, forgive me, uh, pardon my ignorance, if you will, here uh, with regard to this topic. I didn't see the first segment. Uh, is this something that's on the menu regularly? Is it a special? So this is actually something that you'll be able to come in tomorrow night through the weekend and get as a special. Very good. It must be so uh, fun for you, endlessly rewarding. I like asking chefs about this because I believe it to be true, to get creative, to come up with those new specials, to draw inspiration really from anywhere. It's awesome, and I, uh, I pride myself and my entire crew, guys, of never never doing the same thing. We always try to do something different. That's quite a challenge because just when you think you've done it all and seen it all or eaten it all, that's when you realize, oh, there's new ground to traverse. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. New culinary ground to cover. I try to. <laughs> and remind us of your location, of course. So we're right in Westerly. If you're coming from this area, it's uh, right off Route 1 before you get into the town. Beautiful. And it's gorgeous in Westerly any time of year, but even more so during the summer months, I would imagine. Yeah, you're close to the beach. Oh, so. boy, you have this. I'd imagine you have plenty of other delectable suggestions on the menu as well. Yeah, I mean, like uh, like I have here, we've got our chicken quesadilla, which is a great appetizer. I've sampled the steak tips. <laughs> yeah, the steak tips. That's a, that's a good staple. Everybody goes for those. Absolutely. So what will be the next uh, course of action here? So what I'm going to do now, since I've got this stuffed, is we've already grilled off our vegetables. So I'm okay. going to throw the vegetables on, finish those off with the chicken. Outstanding. And they look so good. Vibrant. Those colors just really pop out of the screen. Yeah, and they all go well together. Absolutely. Well, you know, you eat first with your eyes. Yeah, 100%. And this is very aesthetically pleasing. I try Try to make dishes not only taste good but look good. Well, you know, almost as good as the two of us. <laughs> I'd say so. This is the man right here, Chef Joe Dancero from the Haversham Tavern. He's going to continue to prepare this. What promises to be delicious dish, you don't want to miss it. For now, back to you. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Haversham Tavern is the uh, is the location. They're located down in Westerly. Citrus Ale Glaze Cornish Hen is what we're putting together. It looks. It looks so nice. It I know. I just, it look how beautiful yeah, it is. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, well, not here. Watch this. We'll make it look even better. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Check this out. What a great thing to prepare. Nice Thursday morning. Yeah. It smells and looks terrific. So the great thing about all the sugar in the glaze is it gives this great gives color on the chicken. Gives it that color on the side, yeah. All right. So we're going to plate this right up. This is ready to go. Now, Joe, we were we were talking before because we were all, we were all like, okay, you know, hen, but it's chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. So, and you were saying a lot of times when you go to the store and you get the rotisserie, chickens, this is what it is. Yeah, this is uh, what is most widely used for a uh, rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. And it's neither male or female, so hen is very misleading. Okay. okay. 
but it's really just a small it's chicken. Just a small chicken. We were cackling like hens. <laughs> we were. Right. So thought we were. As we do every day. And tell everyone what you uh, what you did to this uh, just one more time because I know you have it stuffed as well. Right. So I made the glaze mm -hmm. out of the out of the beer, and then added some orange juice, orange zest, and some chicken stock. Reduced that down, and then stuffed it with just some wild rice. And then we're going to serve it over some grilled That's vegetables. Great. And it smells so nice, too. It smells awesome. So then we're going to give this a nice okay. cut. And this is the type of... It's okay if that rice goes. That's all right. We don't need to be intimidated by preparing something like this. You just no, follow this the is steps. Super simple. Very few ingredients. Right. Quick. You know, it's not, it's not something that you have to prepare all day. Right. Now, you were also saying, too, that... Um, a hen, it, it's a little, it doesn't dry out as much, it's a, it has a little more flavor to it, right? Yeah, it holds its juices a lot better, and uh, the meat, I think, is more tender than just a, a regular Just a regular chicken, chicken, yeah. chicken that, you, that you put together. Yeah. Um, time for cooking this? Probably about a half hour to 40 minutes mm -hmm. from start to finish. Good. All right, I'm going to dig into that. It fits well within the time frame of the road show. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to have, have a hang around till noon. What do you need, buddy? Uh, but you all, you he also these? brought some other great, great things, yeah. too. I'm going to get you a okay, knife we're gonna, and fork. We're gonna get a knife fork He's for that. He's in charge of the kitchen temporarily. And Joe, tell us what else, what else you brought here. So here in the front, we've got our uh, bourbon glazed sirloin tips. That's a good staple on the menu. Uh, that's onions, peppers, and mushrooms, and you cook, get those cooked to temperature. And then uh, we've got our chicken quesadilla, which I believe has already been sampled once. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's delicious. <laughs> we'll let the quesadilla. I've already put away two steak tips. It's so really that's good. Good stuff. Okay, you want to uh, you want the side over here? Yeah, yeah, going on the side. Show's all yours, chef. While we sample, we're gonna give this a try. Remind here. us of your right location, buddy. Of so we're right off, uh, right off Route One before you get into Westerly, and uh, we're close to the beach. So, if you want to go before your day at the beach or after, oh, either way, stop Ooh. on by. Uh, we offer not just the sit-down restaurant, but we have a banquet facility on the property. You do, so you can get anything, book That's anything good. from birthday parties, baby showers to full weddings. We do ceremonies, we do receptions. Right, it's great, full service. Full That's service. really good, that and you can fantastic. really taste you can taste the flavor and like the, the sweetness of everything that's on top. Yeah, you get the citrus at the front and then the beer right in the very back. Oh. You get that blonde ale. That's what I'm talking about. Do you have a great beer selection on tap? What yeah, have? we've got 28 beers on tap. Heaven. <laughs> something for everybody. Absolutely. Mm. I love sampling new varieties and whatnot. And you said this is going to be on the menu special this weekend? This weekend, starting tomorrow night. Should they mention my name or Will's name? <laughs> <laughs> if they mention your name, they'll get a chicken case of <laughs> Mention my name, they'll get a horrible seat. <laughs> and we were looking over the menu because there really is something for everybody on, on yeah. this menu. Uh, talk about some of the other things that you guys you put together. I mean, so you got a huge That's selection really of appetizers. Uh, seafood, obviously, you have to have seafood being well, Island. Yeah, right, yeah. I mean, some of us don't need seafood, but... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. <laughs> steaks, burgers, <laughs> pasta? Sure. If you need to choose a side, they have french fries, side salad, onion rings, seasonal vegetables, coleslaw, sweet potato fries, baked potato, homemade chips, or twice baked potatoes. I'd like to hear the specials. <laughs> One more time. Could I like, I'd like to hear the specials. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. This is Chef Joe Dancero from the That's Haversham good. Tavern. Thank you so Thanks, much. Joe. Thank Thanks, Joe. Thanks for coming it's in. It's absolutely delicious. If you would like the recipe or to learn more, plan your trip to visit these guys. You know what to do. Get all the information at roadshow.com.